want to tell you about a wonderful film that's releasing this weekend. It's especially wonderful if you're still recovering from March Madness withdrawal like I am. For the Colson Center, I'm John Stone Street. This is Breakpoint. Most sports have a skill or type of play that defines the way the game's played. For example, without the forward pass in football, it would really just be rugby with better pads. The home run, thanks to Babe Ruth, keeps baseball from being cricket with more running. And basketball would not be basketball without the jump shot. It's so endemic to the game, in fact, that many people can't even imagine that basketball ever existed without it. But basketball did exist without it in its earlier days, with two-handed set shots, overhand flings, running one-handers, characterizing what was a much slower game then. Until, that is, the jump shot. And for that, we have to thank a player from the University of Wyoming, Kenny Sailors. Never heard of him? Well, neither had I until quite recently, and I'm a basketball junkie. A new film appropriately produced by Steph Curry, perhaps the greatest jump shooter in the history of basketball, which is appropriately titled Jump Shot, tells the Kenny Sailors story. It was scheduled to be released in theaters in April, but instead it's opening online this weekend, April 16 to 18. And it's fantastic, featuring not only Steph Curry, but a who's who of all-time basketball greats, including Dirk Nowitzki, Kevin Durant, and even coach Bobby Knight. Sailors, who was born in the small Wyoming town of Hillsdale in 1921, learned to play basketball against his older brother. His brother stood six foot five. Kenny was five foot seven. And apparently, his brother rather enjoyed, as brothers tend to do, blocking all of Kenny's shots. One day, Kenny tried something new, jumping up and releasing the ball at the top of his leap. His brother was so impressed, he told him to keep working on that shot. And Sailors did. Eventually, he earned All-State honors in high school and leading the University of Wyoming team that won both the NCAA and NIT national tournaments in the same year. In the four months after that, Kenny married his college sweetheart before being shipped out with the Marines to fight in the Pacific. After serving with distinction in the war, Kenny resumed his All-American career at Wyoming before taking that jump shot to the NBA. There's an iconic photo of Sailors that appeared in Life magazine, which was taken during a game against Long Island University. Sailors' feet is at the level of his defender's waist, and he's flicking his shot in a form that players around the world have been mimicking ever since. As CBS's Clark Kellogg puts it in the film, Sailors was playing a different game from his contemporaries. In fact, he was named the NCAA Player of the Decade for the 1940s. It's so fun to watch in this film NBA legends realize who they have to thank for this way of shooting that they have always taken for granted. After five years in the NBA, Sailors decided to retire from basketball. Why? The Lord has shown me, Sailor says in the film, that there are a lot more important things than sports. Yes, he said the Lord. And if you're wondering why I'm talking about a basketball documentary on this Christian worldview commentary, it's because Jump Shot isn't really about Sailor's contribution to basketball. It's about his contribution to people throughout his entire life. It's about a life well lived. After the NBA, Sailor's moved his family to Alaska, where the clean air could improve his wife's health. There, he started Alaska's first public school girls basketball league, opening opportunities, even for Native Americans there. His teams won 68 straight games and three state titles. One person in jump shot calls him the best thing that ever happened to Glen Allen, Alaska. After his wife's death, he returned to Wyoming, continued his well-lived life investing in the community. Talking about his wife's dementia and eventual death in the film, he says, The Lord gives you strength that you don't even know where it comes from. He just gives you the strength to go through most everything. Two more things you need to know about Kenny Sailors. First, he's not in the Naismith Hall of Fame. It's a travesty. It's an injustice. It's just plain strange. But he's not. He should be. Second, Sailors died in 2016 at the age of 95. This film, Jump Shot, will ensure his extraordinary life is not forgotten, though I imagine that this unassuming man would be embarrassed by all the fuss the film is creating. Especially if you're a hoops guy like me, but even if you aren't, Jump Shot is the film you should watch this weekend. Especially if you want to see Steph Curry 50 years before Steph Curry. The limited release runs online from Thursday to Saturday. Go to jumpshotmovie.com or come to breakpoint.org and we'll link you to the Jumpshot Movie website. For Breakpoint, I'm John Stone Street.